Hello, this is uh, Douglas Ward Kelly, and this is another painting by my doppelganger, uh, painter buddy, Jay Tabasco, and it is called The Purple Gang, and um, and I'll leave it up to you to figure out where the purples are and whether they're a gang. This painting is about eight feet by seven and a half feet um, tall and I'm approximating what um, it would look like if it were uh, seen from a distance. Now to bring it up to full size, it will have to come up in two steps. Um, okay, at first it was like 50%, and then now we're um, um, at 100%. And uh, it has nice cool areas, blue areas. And then it has uh, areas that are surrounded with warmer um pinks and uh, yellows and little hits of white uh, lighten up uh, the area and draw you around and uh, this is all smoke and fire and water and uh, space and time. I'm using a kind of a uh, symbolist uh, palette where everything uh, uh, um, reflects um, either uh, elements like you know, water, earth, fire, um, wind, um, or energy elements, um, hot, cold, um, uh, stellar, um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is how it would be if you had your nose right up on the canvas and you were like walking around looking to uh, see if there's anything interesting over here. And uh, where paintings collide, that's where I would I would describe some areas here. Um, these uh, um, figures that are kind of mirrored, where I sort of get a face and then uh, a body, and then I don't know what what's happening, but uh, the figures that I imagine are there, because this is <laughs> abstract art, um, uh, are all encased in other figures, and so. Um, it, um, um, I'm going for some sort of strange biological uh, uh, effect here. Um, I just like the way the colors come together here, and it, it opens a window where you can actually look down into it and see the hotter parts, the interior surface of this, you know, planet. It, uh, uh, all of my paintings are, in a sense, I imagine to be solar uh, satellite uh, pictures of uh, the Earth's weather at some point in the not too distant future where it has really gone out of control and uh, it has become super hot, uh, hence the name Tabasco. Um, and not to be confused with uh, Picasso, but Tabasco. And uh, I think that the colors on this is very nice. I like the, the cool greens and then the hot blues versus the cool blues and the uh, cool greens. But um, the um, uh, it's all about contrasting um, uh, uh, shapes that um, like a vine, like a nasty 
vine you can't get rid of. It just grows all over the canvas and hooks onto each other and, and um, uh, climbs. Uh, my paintings are like climbing um, mutant uh, vegetation that um, take over um, the biosphere. And of course it's because this is all genetically <laughs> modified. <laughs> now we look down here and uh, uh, this is a nice spot here. I, uh, I like it when the uh, work explodes and then pushes other areas to do other things. And uh, I should perhaps uh, bring it down a little bit so more if it's in the frame. Um, um, this is a, a strong bit because you actually get a little bit more red here than uh, in uh, other places. And uh, um, I don't know how this will look on the. Um, when it's done. Um, this um, is extremely compacted from what um, the originals are. The originals take uh, 24 to 36 hours to render because there's a lot of calculations to get them uh, um, to such uh, large sizes. And um, then they are 700 megabytes to a gigabyte in, in size. And then when I re-render re them to print them out, uh, it's likely they'll be even larger than that. Here is uh, another one uh, called The Good Isaac. And uh, this is more of a Chinese one and the fact that the um, um, the edges um, are supposed to be like uh, Chinese uh, brush paintings of the way they do mountains really flat. Except my mountain range is all volcanic. And um, so um, as um, uh, we go in you can see um, more of the effects and so it'll take a second to come up to um, actual size there we go and um, uh, you know I've used some of the same source material but um, this uh, the, the edges are all uh, blended and, and um, tied together like a vine, but they're often they are set off by these graphic lines too. But then the things actually, uh, you know, create their own energy and and rush into uh, larger uh, circles and. Um, and everything that you can possibly do with an image, I try to do with these images. Um, uh, I like the um, ghostly areas where there's uh, smoke and uh, and fire and uh, um, other times I, it just works because I either um, mix things too wildly or I crush them or I compress them beyond recognition. But um, um, you know, I'm trying to make everything uh, <laughs> you know like a a, a storm, like a um, 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 an allegory, Blakeian, uh, Jesus on the Waves by uh, 
Rembrandt, um, a famous stolen painting, um, because, uh, uh, you know, I just want to make everything as hot as possible. And, uh, but when I pull back, this looks Asian to me. Anyway, that's how it is.